Shabbat Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelet Akim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity, along with the Israelite foreign brothers that look like the heathens. But the line on the false side goes back to the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel are your so called Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal Amah for the lesson. And on today's lesson will be entitled Having Integrity is Honorable with the Most High. You know, I'm just going to go on some precepts and the Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, because Having integrity with our power, Yahweh by Shemoshah is very honorable. You know, keeping his ways, which are the laws of the commandments, you know, to the best of our ability, along with the higher holy days, you know, um, you know, and doing the work, of course, going on in the house and byways is, is very honorable with Yahweh by Shemoshah. You know, as Apostle Har once said, you know, you don't slack when you work for the king of the universe, which is the Most High Yahweh. You know, so, um, because we live in a world, you know, filled with sin and iniquity when no integrity is not honored. You know, when the contrary to our heritage, to our customs, having integrity is, is very, very, um, uh, um, um, push you on a high level, man. You know, and, um, I had looked at the word integrity, and that's brother C. Uh, it says the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness, and that's right. You know, on, and, uh, some of the synonyms is honesty, uprightness, ethics. You know, um, good character, principles, righteousness, nobility. That's right. Morals. You know, and we have morals. You know that keep us civilized, which is the laws of commandments. You know that civilizes man. You know, because if you go to the origins of integrity, that's what I saw with our righteous forefather Jacob, you know. Um, also, along with our other forefathers, righteous forefathers, Abraham and Isaac, you know. Well, I just want to focus on Jacob, you know, because when you read Genesis 25 and verse 27, I get to the point. It says, and the boys grew, you know, talking about Esau and Jacob. Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And right now, let's focus on Jacob, our righteous forefather, because Esau represents um, the wicked, you know, which are the uh, so called white people today. You know, but Jacob, he was a plain man dwelling in tents. You know, and when you look at that word plain, you know, in the blue letter, <clears throat> go to it. And it's 25, 27. When you look up um, plain, it's from the uh, Hebrew word thumb, thumb, which means perfect, complete. It says, one who lacks nothing in physical strength, beauty, etc. Sound, wholesome, an ordinary, quiet sort of person. Complete, moral, innocent. Having integrity, man. You know, one who is morally and ethically pure and right and not represent us, man. You know, us in our natural state, you know, because, you know, we naturally righteous, we, act, we naturally know not to do wicked things, you know. But in our natural state, we're naturally righteous to please Yahweh by Shimon Shai by way of keeping his ways, man, you know. And that's the origins of our forefathers, and that's how we are as well. You know, we don't like to be all out and about, and you know, we're not out. You know, some you know some brothers in favor are outgoing, but for the most part, we like to chill at home. As Jacob, our forefather Jacob was dwelling in tents, we like to be at home. You know, just keeping things simple. You know, but also have integrity is standing up for the for what is right. You know, because we live in a society where it's anti-Messiah, man. You know, we go to Psalms 94, 
verse 16. It says, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity and rape? You know, and the answer to that question is the elect will, you know, because the Lord will put the spirit on his elect to repent and come in the truth, you know, and by default, their ways, uh, which is, you know, the elect fallen ways of Yahweh Bashamoshai will be contrary to the world. So they will stand up for righteousness sake, man, you know, by way of the truth. You know, going out on the house and byways, you know, and preaching the word, man. You know, stand up for righteousness sake, man, doing what the Lord said to the best of our ability. You know, um, keeping the high holy days, you know, to the best of our ability. You know, that's having integrity, man. You know, when something is, um, because people, when they look at, when people think of righteousness, they think of it's born as, you know, they think, just being wicked is, is 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 it feels good to the flesh, you know, because there's no discipline in it, you know, and it's and it's um instant gratification. But with righteousness is delayed gratification. Hence, why people a lot a lot of people don't flock to it, you know. But you know, we want to be found blameless in the sight of Yahweh by at the end of the day, you know, as it says in Second Peter. <clears throat> um second Peter three and verse um let's see verse fourteen it says worth for beloved now whenever whenever the scripture says beloved that's talking about the elect you know because beloved and uh, David in the Hebrew means Dawada which means beloved which the elect are of the house of David you know, so it says, "Work for beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless." And that's right, you know. So we want to be found without blam. So we want to be found without blameless and without spot, you know, because we all got flaws in us. We never gonna be perfect, but what makes us perfect is our spirits not having no gal and preaching the right doctrine, you know. As it says in Psalms 32, in verse, um, I start at verse 1. It says, A Psalm of David, Michelle, blesses he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. And that's right. If you want our sins to be covered, you know, from this lifetime and our past life, you know. It says, verse 2, Blesses the man to whom the Lord Yahweh imputeth not iniquity, which is sin, and in whose spirit there is no God, man. You know, so those are those are the elect that that their spirit will have no gal. Gal means deceit, treacherous, um, having treacherous ways. You know, and the elect won't have those characteristics. You see. Now, <coughs> we look the um, integrity. A whole bunch of priests come up. And I'm, just, I'm just gonna, you know, choose, you know, precepts. You know, um, I go with the lesson, of course. You know, uh, this is uh, Joel 31 and 6. It says, Let me be weighed in an even balance that Yahweh may know my integrity and right. You know, because we all do righteousness, you know, we all do wickedness and righteousness, man. You know, because we live in a sinful world, you know, and we all fall short of the glory of the Most High. You know, but the scriptures say, you know, let not your sins weigh you down. You know, need to let their iniquities have lift themselves. So, you know, we are we're gonna be in the even balance on this side. But in the kingdom we're gonna be perfect. You know, because we still commit sins uh just by wearing these clothes up you wear. You know, because according to the law, is you're supposed to wear um one it's supposed to be all your all your clothes is supposed to be one fabric material. But, you know, you read the collar, I mean you read the tag on your shirt color on the back it says polyester and cod mix so that's just one law we can't keep just an example of how we sin every day you know so but you know um read again let me be weighed and then even balance that you how it may know my integrity and right so it's all about having that integrity man to wanting to do good having that 
that good intent of heart that the Lord is looking for to want to do good in the evil world. You know, having that contrite spirit, broken, um, broken spirit, which the Lord don't despise. You know, <clears throat> now look that word integrity in the Hebrew. It's from the Hebrew word thama, which means integrity. It means innocence. You know, so you know none of us innocent because we all commit sins. But when the time of wrath come, man, you know, like the scriptures say, and wrath and never mercy. So we want that mercy, man, you know, from the Lord, you know. Now let's go to some more precepts. Um, let me see. Uh, Psalms 25 and 21 says, Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. That's right, you know. It says uh, a lot of precepts. Um, Proverbs eleven and three: the integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Man, that's right. You know, Proverbs nineteen and one: blessed is better is the poor that walketh in its integrity, and we are the poor. You know. So, we, you know, we walk in, the, in our integrity in the Lord and Yahweh Shemoshai by keeping his ways to the best of our ability, you know, and doing the work. Then he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. That's right. The, Proverbs 20 and 7. It's the last precept. The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him, man. That's right. You know, because the blessing comes from the, fa um, from the Father, man. You know. So, yeah, I just want to do a quick lesson on integrity, you know. Um, you know, it's very important to have that trait, man, because we live in a, a ungodly world, a sinful world, when integrity is looked at as um, not nonchalant, when, you know, according to our heritage, integrity, um, you have integrity makes you a high-value man, you know. And integrity, real soon, integrity is going to be... Um, the only one, the only ones that are gonna have integrity are the elect in these in these coming in these in these troubling times that we come into, man. You know, so yeah, I can. That's pretty much it. Little one, I was edified. Until next time, shalom.